Well, some of the medical professionals who make money by mutilating the bodies of young women are now being sued for what they've done. Case in point, in 2020, at the, at the age of 30, Camille Kiefel says she was approved for a double mastectomy after a few virtual visits with doctors at gender clinics in the state of Oregon. Now she's suing her social worker and her therapist, as well as the clinics involved. Camille Kiefel joins us along with her attorney, Lauren Adams Bone. Camille, thanks so much uh, for coming on tonight. Um, um, I understand the out outlines of your suit, but tell us why you think you were wronged, apart from the legal, uh, the legal case you're making. So part of it was that um, so I sought out it's it's okay. I'm going to give you a second to collect yourself and, and ask and okay. that's all right and, and ask your Thank attorney you. about the case that you are making, and I hope you can fill in some of the emotional uh, blanks sure. there. Lauren, what, what are you arguing on behalf of your client in this case? Thanks. Hi. This case is about mental health providers who breached their duty of care and violated yes. the professional ethical standards of the state of Oregon, um, leading to irreparable harm to Camille and doing so by making false representations to Medicaid. So, so tell us what, and so they made money by doing this, and thank you for pointing that out, but what is their obligation? What is the obligation of the people who treated your client that they didn't meet specifically? They have an obligation to treat them as an individual and to treat them uh, according to evidence-based medicine. Um, yes. And they, to, they met her one time each and wrote a letter to have healthy body parts removed. Yes. On the basis Do of you... a identity that, yeah. Did you, well, that, I mean, that seems, to, that seems prima facie irresponsible. I don't, can't imagine anyone wouldn't see that as irresponsible. Camille, did, did you feel like they cared about you as a person, cared about making you better as a person? I think that they were highly influenced by an ideology, and that has yes. no place in our medical system. And had they looked at the underlying health issues, which, as those resolved, I realized that I was no that I was not non-binary, that I was a woman all along and had been dealing with trauma, oh. um, then I I would have never needed the surgery. And so right. they have a responsibility to their patients to look at look at things from a nuanced per perspective and not be influenced by ideology. Well, exactly. I mean if they treated cancer mm -hmm. patients like that, no one would survive. That's and so nicely put. And thank you for that. I know it's hard to talk about it, and so I appreciate you both coming on tonight. Thank you very much, and good luck with your suit. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.